Bad news once again, unfortunately. I know it looks like Curtis is on screen right now, but I have on good authority that this is actually an evil twin who's holding uh, Curtis hostage. Is that right? Well, I I wouldn't say holding hostage. Okay, well, you may be biased, but... I would say um, keeping them uh, against their their will. Oh, right. But it's not against mine. Oh, okay. So what do you think hostage is? Hostage, uh, it's like those little um, cakes, like the little... Oh, no, those are hostess cakes. Yeah, but uh, no, I can see that. Oh. Uh, you might be committing a crime is what we're saying. It also seems like, I hate to say it, I mean, are you... You just seem like a dumber, Curtis, as well. Like you don't know what stuff means. Mm. Unless he also doesn't. Or maybe he does and you not understanding it is the evil version. Hey, man, I'm so stupid. I don't know what you just said. <laughs> well. I couldn't even understand. How about you get out of here and bring the real Curtis? You want you want the real Curtis? Sure. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind. You want the nice Curtis? Please. Mm. Please stand up. Nice Curtis. Yeah, that would be good. Commit to the bed. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That was so fast. Wow. Hey guys. Are you okay? That was so incredibly fast and you're wearing the same clothes. Well, yeah, it's like a, it's like part of the rules that my evil twin gave me. We have to wear the same outfits every day. No, that makes sense. You're following his rules. Yeah. And there's, there's a long, long list of rules that I have to follow every day. Oh my God. He let me do this podcast. So that's pretty cool. Seems like the two of you get along pretty well. Yeah. It's like, it's sort of this like, uh, like tongue in cheek, like love hate type thing. <laughs> right. Right. Like we'd hate each other, but like deep down it's like. We're, we're in love. Uh, I hate to say this. Seems like maybe that's just your brother. That's just like a sibling you have. I don't... I, the evil twin seems kind of unnecessary. <laughs> nah. No, it's, you wear the same clothes. You hang out together. You seem to be in good spirits about one another. Yeah. Yeah. He was born like a year before I was. Um, wow. Oh. <laughs> and we have uh, different dads, but we are... We are evil twins. Evil twins, right. He might just be another man. I think what you are is maybe a half-brother, though, is the thing. Maybe a half-brother, not even remotely a twin. Evil half-brother. <laughs> He's my, my evil half-brother. He said that he kidnapped you and you, you were a hostage, but in retrospect, I think he thought that you were a cake, which is also terrible. <laughs> no, that does make him seem less evil and more just like a guy with a sweet tooth, you know? Yeah. We could be here all day and I could... Me t trying to explain everything. Yeah, sure. That does explain why he takes little uh, nibbles out of me, like my leg every morning. Oh my gosh. Because he thinks like I'm a cake. Wow, you have to stop. Well, I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Sad Boys, a podcast about feelings and other things also. I'm Jarvis, <clears throat> and uh, a little... Yeah, concerned, like I said. <laughs> and I'm I'm Jordan, unfortunately. Today we are joined by a very special guest. Uh, the one, I was going to say the one, the only, but now I'm not even mm. sure if that's true. <laughs> the second. Yeah. He's a stand-up. He's a, a YouTube. He's an all-around very nice boy. Curtis yes. Connor, everybody. <laughs> Yay. Thanks for having me. Yay. Yeah, no, thanks so much for coming on. <laughs> Congrats on being a YouTube. You did it. I'm saying thanks to my, my evil twin for letting me. I, I, we don't have to do this bit anymore. But no, no, no. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean bit? I don't understand. Curtis? <laughs> yeah, it's it's a bit, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> he like looks off screen. <laughs> You're sweating bullets. Curtis is joining us today. We're going to we're gonna gab. We're going we're gonna to talk. We're going to chill. <laughs> This is the Gabby show. Wait, let me try and get that URL. Oh, that'd be so great if someone started a podcast called the Gabby show and they had no idea. <laughs> and that's what we'll be talking about today. <laughs> it's just like, and then we just shift into it. <laughs> Welcome to the Gabby show. We're going to have fun. We're, we're going to gab. How do you, how do you feel about live shows, Curtis? I, I, you do stand up. You yeah. did the tour with the boys. Uh, uh -huh. how do you, how do you like being live? I've been, that's like how I started doing uh, comedy is like through stand up. So right. live live performance has always been really fun for me. I miss it a lot. Yeah. I miss like being in front of a crowd of people and stuff, but maybe one day. What was your relationship with it before everything shut down? Because obviously we saw you on tour. We were at the LA show. Oh, but, right. And I know yes. you were you were doing because I know that old YouTube videos of yours, you would upload <laughs> sets, right? Like or uploaded these clips. Yeah. Yeah. Like while, yeah, a while back I would Ages do that. Ages ago, um, a million years ago. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, a million, millions of years ago. It's like <laughs> yeah, first was it, was it still in your ever. like pre <laughs> yeah. pre tour? Was it still a part of your your ecosystem? Like five days a week video time. Sundays are just for me. Out out on the old 
steps. Stage. You know, <laughs> stand, stand up. The comedy steps. Stand on the old, st- the old joke steps. house. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to the Los Angeles steps. We, these are uh, <laughs> a comedy. We venue. don't have a venue. Uh, before it was different. Before like YouTube and everything, but right. before even before YouTube, it was I had like a little bit of a following on Vine, so I was able to like get like a couple people to come out and like actually yeah, see yeah. me and support shows. But yeah, it was like every week we would try to go to like open mics or book shows and just try to get out as much as possible. Yeah. YouTube, it slowed down quite a bit because I obviously my, you know, I was spending more time filming and editing and stuff. Right. It was always a common thing. And then once like the YouTube audience like picked up, then people wanted to see me uh, live. So I was just like doing more shows and stuff. Yeah. It was a lot. I mean, it was this whole thing is kind of nice because it like has forced me to like stay home for right. a while. Because I was fucking, I was like every like few weeks I was gone on another tour. So it was, yeah. it was a lot. But you say maybe a portion of that you still miss. For sure. Yeah. It was hectic. But at the same time, it was like, it was so, it was so much fun and like yeah. going places I've never been before and just doing shows for people who like actually like care about me and like me. Because yeah. for so many years I was doing stand up for people, just other comics who also yeah. wanted to do stand up. Yeah. So Not like when you're uh, up on the old Steps when the old steps. the comedy steps <laughs> you're just performing for the other guys on the steps who are like they're not laughing because yeah. why would they they your jokes aren't funny only theirs are <laughs> yeah they don't give a shit success in comedy is a zero sum game and if somebody's <laughs> yeah. having success then they're taking it away from you exactly yeah, yeah. i look back at that you're like rose colored glasses like oh those are the days it right. was a rag it was a ragtag time for me get to an open mic <laughs> right and- it was the 1940s i think yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. it was yeah. A, it was a ragtag time <laughs> that was crazy that was a dame who used to come to every show i do <laughs> it only cost a nickel <laughs> <laughs> it's just a set of steps i don't think you could judge for that <laughs> i guess when video when video was invented you could really only have a few seconds at a time so it was like a pre-vine vine right Right. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I never thought Holy of that. Holy shit. Damn. You, Whoa. It did, no. <laughs> Vine, <laughs> Vine was the the blueprint for all moving media, I suppose. We need to take a moment to just like let that mm. one sink in. Well, yeah. And when you think about it, if it movies and stuff, video stayed the same, no one would be like, this is dumb. And that's what happened with Vine. And then it went away. <laughs> this is too yeah. long. <laughs> 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 I'm losing attention after six to seven seconds. <laughs> Jordan, I would have started with Curtis, but I wanted to check in on you, buddy. How are you doing? How's your week? Little old me? Little old you. I'm okay. okay. I don't want to... It's, it's it's the same update. I've been given a lot for, yeah. for day ones. OG <laughs> listeners, you know, my uh, things have been even above average turbulent for me for the last several months. Got just... And, you know, I don't want to exaggerate. Got just a little bit deported. And as a result, I, yeah. you know, that that... Just, just a skosh, just, a, Jordan, just my okay. body. So let me paint the picture. Jordan, do you mind if I tell the bachelor story? <laughs> yeah, please. Okay, so I moved to LA a year ago now. Wow. Oh, congrats, man. Hey, thanks, buddy. Um, so Jordan and I used to work together at Patreon in San Francisco. Jordan moved to LA like two years ago or something when we were still yep. at Patreon. And then we left around the same time. I left to do YouTube stuff full time and moved about a year ago. And LA is different from San Francisco in that it's very spread out. And, uh, I, I was having, it was hard for me to like hang out with my friends and get them all in one place. So I was like, I know what I'll do. I will have a, a watch party for the bachelor or the bachelorette or whatever the fuck is airing right now. (laughs) And, uh, so I was having everybody over. It was a grand old time. One day Jordan gets a bad phone call and, uh, proceeds to tell of the the old watch. I I go into your bedroom, phone to ear, your your apartment. I had the space to just kind of leave for what like 20 minutes yeah yeah yeah. and i was missed, like first of all missed out on essential information related to the, the bachelor <laughs> you look man was a uh, that was a that was a crazy episode too i don't know shit about peter anymore that was the worst part of the whole call is that you missed out on that <laughs> i also did i don't know if i told you but i got a text that was like are you with jordan now and i was like yes and he was like, good, Who is this? I'm glad he's with friends. And I was like, what's about to happen? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that, you see that text- a, a red laser dot through the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a text from the president, I think. I was straight. <laughs> <laughs> Not and the one you're thinking of. <laughs> yeah, the president of Nintendo, Reggie fils <laughs> <laughs> Reggie fils fucking killed me. It was the last thing he did before he retired. <laughs> <laughs> he deported you. Um, he had, he had, I didn't have a 3DS. I get this text and I'm like, okay. And then you go into my room and now I'm like, my heart's beating really fast. Like, what's about to happen? Like, who died? Like, what's the situation? Turns out your citizenship is who died. But the- um, <laughs> I was assassinated. Uh, Jordan finds out that he like got denied for a visa for a dumb reason. I because- essentially- the story gets there, but I essentially threw a clerical <laughs> error 
that we didn't know at the time. Uh, oh my god! My my visa have been have been revoked. Typo. Eleven months after they asked for more evidence. A typo was supposed to take two of weeks. podcast. Funnily yeah, enough, podcast. So they it were was like a so- typo. Kind of. It was like a clear misunderstanding of what the business was, and then because with it with a work visa you effectively say here's what i do and then yeah. here's why my background and university applies to it yeah right and they like like they straight up just didn't know, didn't know what it was looked it up kind of understood and then were like i don't know if a background in entertainment and editing really applies to making a podcast or make, oh. making a podcast it, it applies <laughs> to podcast, podcasting but a podcast oh of course yeah <laughs> sorry i mean i listen to the daily on the daily but like i don't know if anything what the fuck is a podcast i don't think that's fun P-O- piece of shit cast like P- yeah. Yes. yeah that's what Wait, this is everybody they were roasting me we're the pause <laughs> boys <laughs> what the hell dude i had to go through such a long process to get my work visa because yeah. i'm canadian and i yeah, do yeah. shows in the states and I, they were like, this the questionnaire that we had to fill out was like the gnarliest thing I've ever seen. It was like, <laughs> have you ever or plan to commit g- genocide? And I was like, like <laughs> what? No, obviously well, not. Like, and I'm, look, even if I was right now, no. <laughs> even yeah. if I was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't that's know the me. thing. If I'm planning on committing genocide. I'm not going to tell you guys. Not, right? th- that's like, that's the, ah, I can't tell a lie. <laughs> that's the, yeah. Yeah. Uh, my got hands are tied. Is getting long as you said oh, whoopsie doopsie. <laughs> my hands are tied. I'm committing genocide. <laughs> oh no, he's a rhyming war criminal. <laughs> <laughs> I love one half, but I hate the other. <laughs> no. The war criminal side. Do, do you think genuinely there's ever been one yes to that question? There can't be. It would be pretty funny if it has no impact. Right, <laughs> right. You can't say yes. They're like, oh, okay. like, wait, no, I yeah. said, wasn't it weird that there was a question on the <laughs> on the application that said, do you love gin and juice? <laughs> and it was like, <laughs> it's like, no, that said <laughs> something completely different. You said yes to that? <laughs> and now one of the, one of the questions are, what is is a podcast because they don't because they may need to (laughs) know we took one l we've crowdsourced it and we're officially willing to let you back into the country because we've learned what a podcast (laughs) is so yeah i find out that news and i react um maturely can i say what what happened Please, it's, I think it's fun. So funny. Uh, uh, so Jordan tells everybody there's a moment of calm. (laughs) There's a moment of calm. Jordan tells everybody very calmly. We all like are sort of stricken with the news, and then he punched yeah. a hole in my wall and left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which which I understand, I you know. I it's love like, it. Was, it was I genuinely have never been that angry in my whole life. I and get then it. I just got very sad, cried, and then like twenty minutes later got an Uber. <laughs> my wall That's deserved amazing. it, man. I called the task grab it the next day. Wow, the yeah. phone call was just like, "Hey, you got you got to leave." It was my my friend and person I co-founded the podcast company with separate from sad boys yeah she gave me a call because she got like the text the email that kind of thing because she was the ceo wow. and, came through and she was like yeah i don't shit i don't know what that means and i was like that's crazy it'll be fine bleep oh, no. <laughs> it'll be fine you go super <laughs> saiyan yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that is an yeah, appropriate that's... response I think it's so. Sort yeah. Sort of weird. It's weird to check in and be like, you know, it's good. It's it's a it's a crazy old week because the standard is angry and sad because I got it back. They like we reapplied and they were like, oh no, actually you should have this. Oh my god. I got the visa and then Trump banned all H one B. Oh sorry. So funny story. We actually can't read. <laughs> Here's your yeah. visa though. Bad news. We're not currently allowing H one B people into the country anymore. Yeah. Uh, this very oh, I'm so important sorry. visa. We actually we missed on your blood results that you are in fact dying. We do have the cure. We lost it. Shoot. <laughs> well, no, we have the Darn. cure, but the Ooh. president is angry and he doesn't want to let anybody use the cure right now. <laughs> he's holding the cure. Yeah, he's holding the cure, and you can't. He's playing keep away actually with the cure. He's very slippery. Oh yeah, he is the slipperiest president <laughs> yeah. to, to date. That's that's <laughs> true. Be, we are keeping he might track. Be the greasiest president. We do think we may live to see a slippier president, but for now. <laughs> For now, That's he's the, the one. <laughs> when uh, when Slippy the Frog from Star Fox is the oh, president, shit. which Matter he will be, then we'll have the a Slippy. He's a uh, natural coward, Slippy. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think he has the fortitude. <laughs> he's maybe a vice at best. I just I learned some random facts about Slippy recently. I don't know why this is. I didn't expect this to come up. Nice. Hold on. Well, one is that uh he's I, got a huge cock <laughs> yeah that's the thing how'd you know <laughs> was it just did he just have bde <laughs> one fact that will blow your mind <laughs> yeah well first of all that reminds me of these <laughs> there's these uh like screen rant type articles like listicles that'll be like 24 facts about waluigi that you like never knew yeah we yes. read one the other day and it was like waluigi once wrote a poem <laughs> and it's like <laughs> all, right. all right the inspiration for the voice actor of Waluigi was resentment or something. <laughs> but uh, Slippy, I found out, was other than his giant frog dick, 
He was uh, yes. <laughs> He, he Human was, dick. Oh, that was that was a surprise. You were you would have <laughs> yeah, expected a joke. frog one. I don't know what would be worse. <laughs> I, do, I do think that like if I'm faced with Slippy in real life and he like drops trowel, I'm not too concerned about <laughs> the anatomy <laughs> of it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If it does turn out to be a human dick, I might get like a quick second look. But <laughs> yeah, it's a, oh, wow. a humanoid frog. Uh, the last thing I'm wondering is what his wiener looks like. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's not true. the last thing. Well, it's not the last thing I'm wondering. I'm yeah. actually extremely curious. <laughs> <laughs> now the truth is like way less interesting. He was originally going to be considered for the original uh, Smash Brothers on Nintendo 64. Mm. But ah. but the dick too big. The dick was too big, and it's just like they just didn't <laughs> have the technology <laughs> to yeah, like model enough. it. There weren't enough polygons. Yeah. Yeah. They, tried to, <laughs> they tried to render it, and it smoked out every single instance. <laughs> yeah, they were like, our options are Mario and the gang, or just Slippy's dick. So they had to build. That's why they built the GameCube to handle Slippy's dick, <laughs> right? Because his dick is famously his dick is famously a cube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, there's, there's master hand. <laughs> and <a> slippy dick. <laughs> that's that's the deleted final boss of uh oh of Smash Brothers. a huge slippy dick <laughs> oh no but yeah apparently like uh sakurai he wanted <clears throat> slippy and falco and what's his face to be fox no 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 there's uh, another <laughs> the dude guy? the other guy like peppy Peppy, Peppy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Pee pee, poopy. Yeah, they wanted them to be it's different, poopy. like outfits. <laughs> Spoopy. Poopity scoop, actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> he, he, he wanted them to be different, like outfits or different colors of the same character. But he uh, said that it didn't make sense for Slippy to be a really fast character, like as fast as Fox and Falco. Because he's way down. Because he's got, he's <laughs> way down. By that third leg of his, the third yeah. prod leg. <laughs> yeah, and so... Or, he, or, of course, he can run extremely fast. Wait, <laughs> right. Um, yeah, frogs are pretty fast. That's, what, that... that's what I thought. But it's definitely the dick thing. Hey, guys, what uh, what sort of condoms does Slippy use? <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> Wait, are we the first Twitch stream to have uh, minus views? This is the full dynamic range of the podcast. It's like Slippy's dick one moment, and like I had a bad week in therapy the next. <laughs> and those are those are connected with each other. I think. they are. Yeah, it's true. It's mostly because of my visions of, of Slippy. <laughs> I wake up in yeah. a cold sweat thinking of <laughs> slippy, slippery dick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, you know, outside of that, outside of that, like, humming rage, I'm actually pretty comfy. So, oh, okay. uh, Curtis. Good. Nice. What's, what, Curtis, we, uh, usually we ask how the, was your week, but mine's just going to be, what's your, what's your fucking deal, man? <laughs> just in general? Yeah, man. What's, what's your fucking fuck, deal? What's wrong with you? <laughs> like, where do you get off? Yeah. How do you, how do you, you be off? on our podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you, how did you get in here? My deal is, um, uh, 21 blackjack i win see wow. you guys deal or no deal <laughs> wow he took he took yeah. the deal that's wild how in blackjack you can choose the number i'll take <laughs> 21 yeah. dealers <laughs> dealers choice baby <laughs> that's it hit, uh, hit me with 21 please hit me with the exact number i need <laughs> of course of course your majesty now, now the numbers do only go up to 10 but it seems that this is a 21 <laughs> when does 21 come? Wow. Yeah, it's amazing whenever they play roulette i go can you just not spin it this time can you not yeah. spin the thing and just put it Put it where I want it. Yeah, I would just like to put it down here and have that be the. I would just give me the money is what I'm asking. <laughs> I'd like to win, please. Yeah, I'll take that. Part. <laughs> but my week's been my week's been pretty good. I get my car back tomorrow. Okay. It was in the shop because I got in an accident. Oh, I'm oh young. yeah, like everything okay? Uh, I'm dead. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the spanking I got for my evil, t my evil. I know brothers. for dying. <laughs> <Not> crazy. <laughs> the punishment for dying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> spank I don't know. It seems like he's. <laughs> He's quite considerate because one of the rules is don't get in a car crash. I don't think that's <laughs> that bad. Yeah, I guess. You're, yeah. Okay. That's his one. His one nice thing is that he doesn't one, want yeah, me cool. in the car crash. He'd rather. He'd close. rather be him. I. Yeah. That, um, it's like a, a single tear rolls down your eye. It's like very touching. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Then, I actually have to go. <laughs> oh I man. To chase him to you the see airport. A, you see a finger off screen. Why? <laughs> <laughs> uh but no my week's been good been editing went golfing a few times nice. that's it yeah it's been great i didn't know you played Very the king's cool. game i do i play on the the steps I, <laughs> oh, oh you the, play you play street golf <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like nba streets but uh, it's oh, the golf version. <laughs> with so many more death pga streets, PGA streets. <laughs> <laughs> oh man 
I, is that the is that the golf game with fatalities <laughs> where you just like yeah you like straight up like Nine s- wood. snap Tiger Woods' <laughs> neck or whatever and you just shove a putter up a guy's asshole <laughs> and you <win>. birdie <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah but that my week's been uh in all in all it's been good that's great no it's good what defines good week for you independent of like working and that kind of stuff do you just need like nice taste in the air did did my hobby like golfing is a great example yeah i think if if i get a video out in a week it's like i'm having the best week of my life but right. if i don't get a video up it's like if i feel that i've done a good amount of work and then um i'm able to like you know like hang out with my girlfriend and like go golfing and stuff and just like have a day or two days to myself which i'm trying to do more often because when I first started on doing YouTube full time, it was just like YouTube, 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 YouTube for like a year. Yeah. And it was a lot. So I think I'm like slowly I'm being like, if I'm like happy with the work that I did on a week, then any given week then I'm then I'm I'm good. I'm happy. Yeah. That's definitely a journey too to get there because I I feel like I'm getting <clears throat> that's like where I am now. But it definitely took it took a minute to just like appreciate, you know what? Like we did, we did good work this week, everybody. We can like pack it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's just, yeah, it's really easy to get caught in the whole, like, Oh, I didn't, I uh, see all these other people that I are my friends and they're uploading videos and yeah. I didn't upload a video. <laughs> so yeah, what yeah, the fuck yeah. am I doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Am I valuable as a human? Turns yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I thought I was this whole time, but then I, I didn't turn it around this week and I guess I'm I bad. Guess not. Yeah. yeah. I guess I'm a little piss baby sorry yeah, fuck <laughs> as your tweet saying that the video is not coming out anyone else's breaks or anything like that where it's just like well they posted this week they did just take off two months but i guess i'm the bad one <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, 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 yeah how was your week yeah jay a little rough to be honest but i think it's like the it's kind of like the climax of uh slippy <laughs> sorry i uh <laughs> it's that no. was his final smash. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I'm he fi- ah. Why does it work so well? Um, the final smash. He's final you. smashed me. God damn it. Ultimate. <laughs> it's called a smash ball. I'm not having fun right now. <laughs> That's so much to work with. Um, no, but I think I kind of let my kind of self care shit fall out of whack, and then I was starting to feel bad, and I didn't know why and i was working a lot and i wasn't taking care of myself and i was like what gives why do i feel bad i've only not been exercising or eating well and i've only been mm. working to the exclusion <laughs> of everything else like what gives and uh why isn't my car moving i only didn't fill it with gas and took the engine out <laughs> <laughs> i uh and so i had therapy like i have adhd and like one of the things with adhd for me in particular is this like sometimes feeling rejected by something even if it's as simple as like somebody correcting you on like a spelling mistake or something can can like hit you way harder okay. than it should yeah maybe the visa people had adhd yo so that was the problem they yeah. were like pause <laughs> guys hold on hit yeah. pause <laughs> I'm going to hit pause on your fucking citizenship. Um, uh, yeah, which made me feel really rejected. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but that's just because of your ADHD, Jordan, for no other reason. Yeah. No, I don't want this. <laughs> so I had a like a experience in the morning that made me feel like feel like my mood was like hijacked. And I was like, ah, oh, oh, fuck. No. Like I was trying to have a good day and now I'm sad. <laughs> you know, it's like I'm mad about this. Right. And then um, I was like kind of in the dumps and I had therapy that day, which was ultimately good. But I was sitting there in bed like, how am I going to like do anything the rest of the day, you know? And mm-hmm. uh, had therapy, cried a little bit, talked about how like I felt like my, you know, life and career was over and I'm a big fat phony and failure and a piss boy, frankly. And mm-hmm. um, and my therapy, this was like, yes, but. Um, <laughs> you are a piss boy. You are a piss boy. Yeah, yeah. You're the pissiest boy I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm not a great therapist. <laughs> you did study it though. Like you are you are um, yeah, licensed. I gave it a swing. Which in retrospect actually might be why I wasn't appropriate for podcasting as a visa. <laughs> <laughs> you gave it a you gave it a swing from the steps <laughs> from the uh PGA street steps. <laughs> yes. Uh, I did get a text from my therapist last night, which is the first time this has ever happened. Like after therapy, a, like a wellness check like hey how are you doing but i you know Uh it it was great it was it was very heartwarming but yeah it was more like i was in therapy with like sort of like a few single tears like running down my face going i know i'm gonna you know where it's like i know when i sleep on this tomorrow is gonna be totally fine and normal and it's gonna be like none of this happened um that's kind of how i felt the next day but just like now i have work to do like i need to make sure i'm resting and taking care of myself and getting that stuff back back in order right yeah because everything feels better too when i'm doing that stuff and it's so nonsense that i'm like no i have to keep working and it's like no but jarvis when you like don't drink water you feel bad (laughs) 
And it's like, yeah. I, mm. but t- that takes time. I don't know. Like, yeah. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I'm kind of in the zone right now. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't really know if you've that. seen this script, but it's a fucking banger, dude. And it's like, <laughs> you're going to die. <laughs> you're going to die of dehydration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're, you're just there like nodding along going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I could. Mm-hmm. I, I could. could die. No, it's true. But I'm in the, the video zone, so. can't. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been doing like therapy for, if you don't mind me asking? No, no. I, uh, so I think about three years now. And it's a thing okay. where I don't really have many big problems. And that was a thing for me like i didn't want to start therapy because i was like well there's nothing that wrong with me but Mm -hmm. seeing the value in an outlet of like just like having that emotional conversation or getting the like getting something off my chest or talking it through with someone who's going to like validate my experience ends up being such a valuable just like yeah outlet to have that i'm now like very supportive of if you have the means or if you have you know, in some countries, like somebody DM'd me that like they wanted to try therapy or something. And I was like, oh, well, maybe health insurance, yada, yada, yada. You could do this, that, and the other thing. And they're like, well, I'm in Australia. So I think we get like eight free sessions. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, you, wow. Wow. Mm. Must be nice. I don't know if that's the case in Canada. I feel like you need to pay still because I, yeah, I've wanted to like try therapy for a bit. I just yeah, never yeah. tried. I went to therapy, like, had like three sessions once, right. like a few years, a few years ago. Yeah, and it was yeah. like, I don't know. It was nice to like talk about stuff. For that sure. was going on because it was at like a really weird time in my life yeah and yeah i just like never did you renewed. pause it for any specific reason or just uh i st- i had from some i think it was from like my mom's health insurance i had like three ah, yeah. sessions oh, okay and i was in college at the time i didn't have any money to like yeah. spend on any more sessions so i just like okay well i guess i better be okay now because I'm, yeah. I'm not gonna go back <laughs> i guess i'm fixed forever uh, <laughs> one thing that i don't love about like the way that therapy is like at least the old way of thinking about therapy is like something's wrong with me and i need to go fix it and when it's fixed yeah. right. I, like don't go to therapy anymore because i'm in therapy to just continue improving myself you know what i mean like oh yeah. okay like a situation situations affect me in this way I don't like like let's learn some coping strategies with that and then let me learn how to cope with this that and the other thing or or one of the things that I didn't even know starting therapy that would be super duper valuable is having someone who's got enough continuity on your life to be like mm. hey I have observed a change in you about how you deal with situations very similar it's like you right. used to be really upset about this thing and now you seem to be have a handle on it and i'm like whoa character development you oh know? that's cool and that's cool yeah 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 <laughs> character development yeah yeah <laughs> just like in the script i was writing i know <laughs> let me get back yeah. it's really good guys i am it's dying really good. i am dying what does water taste like i, <laughs> I forget can't i uh mm. it's like that spongebob <laughs> i don't need it <laughs> i don't need it but yeah so i i recommend it for anyone just to try okay it is a thing that's like dating because you cannot have a good match with a therapist and mm. it can kind of turn you off of the whole deal, you know? Like, right. And your instinct is almost certainly right. Yeah. You can adapt to somebody's like maybe some of their mannerisms or find a way around a, a communication style. But if the things that they're saying don't resonate with you or you feel right. worse when you leave always. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. You can probably yeah, maybe but change. Yeah. One cool thing I would say for anyone who's interested is that in the States, while it is like dating and that's already exhausting, like when I was at patreon i was like trying not to be paying a lot of money for for therapy so i was seeing a like a phd student who was like getting their getting their certification to do it on their own and it was nice because basically there were two there was like an advisor reviewing my file as well so it was kind of like great two people are like checking me out oh nice but, yeah, yeah, two yeah, for yeah the price of one exactly but then when that ended she just she became a school um psychologist but finding another therapist it took me a good six months <laughs> just to like wow but only because it's one of those things where it's like well i'm fine i don't really need it kind of like oh i should probably fix that doorknob is kind of weird and then it's like two years pass and then right it's like yeah there should be like a tinder for uh Yo, therapists. million dollar business idea but yeah. I guess one thing to know is that in the States, at least, you can tend to call up like cold call therapists and they will talk to you for a bit while you're like trying to decide if you guys would be a good fit. And I think that mm. and you're not charged for that time. So cool. because they're trying to get a client and also see if like they could be of, of use to you. So I would say use those opportunities when you're like, OK, do I want to talk to this person or let me let me call a few people and see who calls me back and like sort of play the field a little bit. Right. So what happens if you go see a therapist and they show you a bunch of Rorschach photos and all you say is <clears throat> Slippy's penis? 
Ooh. This is a hypothetical. This is totally hypothetical. Mm. This is not very happening specific to me. one that you're no, giving out. Mm, okay. Yeah, like when you see Doctor Jones in the you know on Mississauga Street and then in like Office three three oh six. Sure. Yeah. And right. then and you just got back from tour. You're in the U S. All hypothetical. You get back from tour uh, and then your name is Curtis and then you say um, and then you say like oh I see I just keep seeing Slippy's big slippery wiener. Then yeah. sorry, my name was what? No, this is hypothetical. Yeah, right. like, but you did say in it, what was my name? You, in the, your name is Curtis. Huh? Your name is Curtis, yes. Just, you, but in, it's this like, scenario, in the scenario, it just happens to be Curtis. Oh, it's like, yeah. Oh, did I say that? Yeah, I'm almost certain you did because you said it like very clearly and this is about you. I'm almost certain. Oh, I think that may have been a Freudian slippy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Yay. laughs> and scene. <laughs> All right, see you guys. But uh, <laughs> <Repeat>. <laughs> the, the evil twin comes back. <laughs> uh, he's, he's not funny. <laughs> he's like not funny. To do at he's all. Like, very serious. I just want to talk about golf. Um, hey, I heard you guys saw <laughs> laughing about Slippy's penis. I don't mm. think that's a very funny yeah. thing. Are you doing that uh, funny crying? What's that called? <laughs> I tried it very briefly, but have you guys ever gone for one of those like uh, better help or like a remote? short-term therapy solution i have not i've never tried that i tried to do one of the chat ones one time but i'm worried that they're like a scam a always uh, yeah oh yeah yeah shane, shane dawson asked me to twerk was that normal <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh sorry but no i tried one of the text <laughs> things but then i'm also like there was like a controversy controversy about them and uh oh yeah oh, i don't really but i think they're 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 fine i did have a access to like my regular therapist so i never really got into it but my therapist is remote so i do have like experience i used to go into an office but then my therapist moved and i knew i was moving to la so i was like great let's just do remote because i'm going to move anyway that way i don't have to find a new therapist when i move to, to la and it turned out to i had a lot of foresight because now you know like my therapy wasn't disrupted by covid because i was already mm. doing it remote or you predicted the future i might have curtis are you interested in doing it again like actively all right when things maybe iron out a little bit and i don't have to be remote or i do have to be remote maybe it's finally time to take another swing at it or it does it's not a burden i don't think i'm in any like big rush i definitely want to try it see yeah. if it would help me because there are some days where I'm like really feeling it just like pressure and stuff yeah. and like st and like goals that I set for myself that I don't like right. reach and then it's like I don't know it's just so I, I think I, I, I'd be down to give it a try yeah. I'm in like I'm in like I need to go to therapy now right but right but even just like basic strategies for dealing with situations that come up all the time it's like oh you went to school and you have like a framework for thinking about this mm -hmm. fantastic like give me the give right me the deets. yeah yeah like a good manager doesn't need to give you context on why you should do something it might sometimes be nice to have it but it's like man i feel lost at work i've worked on 15 different things this week and i never felt impactful or satisfied with any of it <laughs> yo uh, Cassandra, what the hell should I do? Oh, that's just a solution. Great. Because you know your stuff and I don't need to double check it. I like trust what you believe. It's that right. same. It's handing over one of the more stressful parts of your life. Like mm -hmm. I'm going to go to a coffee shop to get a coffee because no matter how much I make it at home, <laughs> yeah. it's pretty it's much not, always going to be better. So yeah, I don't exactly. understand <laughs> why it's different. I just don't. I think it's because I like <laughs> to have someone else make it for me. I think that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. When you get like, when you go out, it's like same as hearing your favorite song on like the radio. Yo. You know, it's so, it's more interesting. Like that's, you hear it, I you like can hear to, it at home all day. I've never heard that those things compared and they are the same. I like to bring a coffee with me to trade. What? Why? I like to bring a coffee with me to give to the, the barista. And be like, oh, I, right. Uh, bartering system. I just want to say yeah. thanks. This is like, no, that uh, it's sense. huge that you did this for me. I'm not that good. I'm just practicing, but. I <laughs> Maybe you could give it a taste test and let me know how I could improve. <laughs> They've had 40. People keep giving <laughs> oh, them to it. Oh, my God. Nice Camp Rock shirt, by the way. I should have worn my high school mm. musical jersey. Thank you. This movie was actually filmed maybe like two hours away from my house. Damn. So, well, maybe three hours. It's. <laughs> it was pretty moving? close to my it house. Was, yeah, ground zero, um, <laughs> the set was your home. <laughs> yeah, it was like a couple minutes from my bedroom. Or so. <laughs> so I found this shirt at a thrift store. It says crew on the back. Mm. So like whoever, someone was working on the crew of Camp Rock was sweating yeah. in this shirt in the yeah. Muskoka hot sun. Yeah. Or somebody, somebody who worked on that is really cold right now. 
Where's my shirt? For years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like freezing cold. They're still working crew for Camp Rock. No one has the heart to tell them it's, so it's wrapped many years ago. They can't leave set because they're still looking for it. You can go home. You know that. I need my shirt. I need we'll my shirt. shirt. He's holding a boom mic. He's just like not willing to give it up. <laughs> you so go strong. To the, yeah, you go to the, the Camp Rock and there's a frozen man there. <laughs> a monument. <laughs> a monument yeah. he's, he's fully preserved. <laughs> It's like <laughs> his mouth is in this shape. Where, where's my T-shirt? <laughs> oh my god! You can sometimes you can still hear him say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Still hear him. with with a low hum of uh, Demi Lovato and the Jonas Brothers in the background. <laughs> I oh, it's so guys. funny watching those movies. It's I think Drew made a video about like old Disney movies, but like it's mm. so, there's so many of them that like really aren't very cool at all. Any like they don't hold up at all. Oh no! Like yeah. when you're a kid, it's like well, actually, this is different. But because High School Musical Two is my favorite. Oh, I'm working this on a, a video about. High school is we are, too. Well, because we okay, four good. for my, four people saying that that's the my YouTube origin <laughs> story is I uh, when I was fourteen. I had a viral video of me dancing to work this out from High School Musical 2. Let's go. I remember, I, yeah, I used to know that dance too. Yeah. I forgot it. Continue. You're preaching to the choir. Yeah. I was saying like that, I mean, High School Musical 2 is like the exception because that yeah. movie is still very cool every time I watch it, but it's, the, I watched the, all it, the other yeah, ones. I watched it on stream this weekend because I'm working on the- You're working it out. I was working it out, frankly. And you can bet on it. There are so many iconic things about High School Musical 2. Yeah. Everything I think is iconic because it's really just like, the first movie was like, a good try and mm -hmm. it, it you know it, it paved the way high school musical 2 somehow hit the perfect amount of polish yeah it had everything you needed it had everything it was you, needed. Like you had zach efron the bluest eyes you could ever like i don't know they yeah. color graded that movie in a weird way where his eyes are like extra blue what's the high concept of two like what what differs from one i know one kind of oh well uh i mean curtis How much do, you action? Wanna, do you want to take it away okay so one we all know it it's you know the the inner you know the struggle of like is this is what i want to do this is what other, this is what my father has in mind for me this is yeah. What, yeah, like basketball what, dad. Is, yeah. Yeah, basketball dad and then singing girlfriend. The the <laughs> oldest story in the book. Yeah. <laughs> um, he was a basketball dad. <laughs> he was, he a, was singing a singing girlfriend. girlfriend. <laughs> uh, um, and then second one gets him out of the school. Okay. Yeah. I know it's high school musical, but it's but now it's they're summer. in the country club. Yeah, it's summer. Summertime. Summer. Yeah. Summer. <laughs> summer. Yeah. Now they're now they're in the, the country club and uh there's all this pressure from, you know, uh Troy, he's getting all the success, you know, Sharpay is, you know, kinda getting her rich uh, Gro grooming him, kind of yeah it's like yeah, a weird yeah it's him. a weird yeah. it's a weird power play Sharpay is, <laughs> yeah. Sharpay is doing where she's like come meet these uh college recruiters come like yeah. hang out with my weird dad and and play golf with us <laughs> golf again mm -hmm. on these steps I think that's why I play golf now to emulate bet on it yo I I want that so bad. Can we talk about the bet on it reflection? The high, oh, yeah. the highest art in cinema is uh, <laughs> when when Zac Efron no good at all. <laughs> when you see yourself <laughs> and don't recognize your face <laughs> because your face is poorly transposed onto uh, <laughs> onto a pond. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. That's the one thing where it's like, okay, that doesn't Disney. You have so much money. Yeah. You have the most money, and you yeah. can't even do a good scene on. And reflection and I feel like I could have done a better yeah job. no I agree I might try I do think that there's a lot of little <laughs> details in High School Musical 2 that I have now picked up watching it over and over again well okay well there's obviously the Miley Cyrus cameo famously in uh, All Huge. for One which I also know the choreography to wow because I I learned it in high school in the, order to the teach. dance along yes oh I actually have uh, in the other room I have the I don't know what was it called it was called like some sort of special edition of the movie that has all the dance alongs on it I, I found it at a yeah. thrift store for a dollar in LA and I was like it was nice. it was in its original wrapping, I felt like I was finding a diamond in the rough. <laughs> this one in particular is, it sounds like the second movie is the summer that we wanted. Yeah, we finally got it. Yeah. Are you open currently to genius.com slash all for one? <laughs> I, do, I do. I do. Ooh, you know, I'm not really a computer guy. I, I wouldn't know. Okay, okay, but okay. it's certainly, yeah. I think, no, I think, I think we described it in such a way that you just, you kind of understood the whole plot and one of the, and you happened to reference one of the lines in the movie. Oh, yeah. I don't know I how long we get to stream today, but each day we'll be together, you know, and now until yeah. forever. Okay. Really. So wow. can, can I just say... <laughs> Can I just you say have that? no idea. You have no. You How are close you are, to the lyrics. You are. We, this is incredible. I am losing <laughs> my mind. Um, this is nuts. Wow. High School Musical three. 
I feel like the only thing it does for me is if I watch the end of it, it makes me cry. Because like the once a wildcat, always a wildcat shit with like the yeah the re- the reprise of like the High School Musical song. Ugh, that's huge. Just Three, thinking about we're, it. we're graduating and we're you know what's next. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And, and and you know what's next? It's that Vanessa Hudgens is get, gonna deny that COVID should be a problem <laughs> in July, and Zac Efron's gonna become big buff man and star in a a show where he goes to a lot of countries where people of color live, but he only interacts with white people. And Unfortunately, this is a oh, hell of a sad. call you made considering that movie came out, what, 13 years ago? <laughs> I know. Oh, More man. like whack Efron. I know, yes, but dude. I still I still stand, frankly. I just yes, can't. Dude. I can't. Once you stand, you can never unstand. I think that's the rules. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> no one's ever said I'm unstanding. No one's ever said that. It's actually in the terms of service and the extended version of Stand by Eminem featuring Dido. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a lot of litigation around that track. Yeah. Of, there's actually a lot of law in there. <laughs> yeah, there is, yeah. The radio edit doesn't include the uh, the two and a half hours in the center that's mostly about Bill and Law's <laughs> Delivered by Paul Rosenberg, <laughs> Eminem's lawyer or whatever. It's all legal jargon. Okay, crazy idea. All right, hit me. Let's take it to the beach. Hmm? Take, oh, take it here together, I mean. Let's celebrate today because there'll never be another Sorry. <laughs> Wait, what's this song about? Uh, <laughs> Celebrate today because there'll never be another. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. They all die at the end. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a Jim Jones situation. Hey, what is three about? <laughs> It's a ritual suicide at the pool. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and then the third movie takes place in heaven. Whoa. It's like lost yeah. all over again. <laughs> yeah. They're on the island the whole time. They're on the island the whole time. <laughs> Fuck. The smoke monster is uh, Sharpay. <laughs> There's a really weird line in High School Musical 2 that's one of my favorite quotes where sprinklers turn on and Troy and Gabriella are playing around on the golf. Oh, thing. yeah. It's like, you were going to get so wet. So wet. <laughs> it's like, okay. What a weird. <laughs> There's so many weird ADR lines. Like, you didn't have to put that line into the movie right. they didn't say it out loud does he say you're gonna or i thought it was we're gonna i think it's you were gonna but maybe it's we are gonna we've got to get to the bottom of this we're would make hold on let's i'm gonna put, can i pull, pull up the pull script up yeah, yeah, yeah okay high school musical to ritual death scene is what i'm saying <laughs> yeah that's right that's right yeah it all um, complete right it's uh what team <laughs> wildcats what team wildcats and then on the <laughs> third one everybody drinks at the same time yeah Wildcats, get uh, your dead in the game. Are you sure it's not humo, humu, humu, ut- Oh, humu, humu, nuku, nuku, apu, We can't, we can't, we can't yeah. makiki, mali, hila, hu. We don't need to talk about it uh, because mm. it's, uh, it's kind of appropriative as a song. And it wasn't even it's just in the extended version. Oh, no. I'm just reading this. <laughs> tiki, tiki. I'm watching the scene right now. Oh, yeah. They're about to kiss. Yeah. That's hot. Sprinklers are on. Sprinklers are on. Now they're dancing a little bit. Okay. Okay, they're dancing. Okay, this is good. (laughs) Oh, wait. This is good. Jarvis, you're right. Oh. (gasps) They say you are going to get so wet. That was like, the reason I remember that so well is because I did go to a High School Musical 2 watch party in 2007. Good. Mm. And and I remember- (laughs) Rumor was real. As a uh, (laughs) 14-year-old having a very, very bad sense of humor. And that was a thing where we were just like- (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh yeah that's hilarious yeah and i do know what that means um yeah, my butt's gonna get all sweaty soggy sex wise <laughs> soggy butt <laughs> wow Man. that's crazy i didn't know this he said that that changes everything i know it changes the whole lore to be honest you're crying <laughs> wait there's so many good moments in this movie that i want to keep talking oh about. yeah the, the 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 outfit swap between yo Chad wait and Ryan. you literally that was literally what i was about to talk about i was about to <laughs> the outfit swap between Chad and Ryan during I Don't Dance. That is never addressed. Friend of the show, 24 Frames of Nick made a video about the outfit swap mm-hmm. and talking about the, the theory of it. And it's a it's a good video. But yeah, I don't know what, what to say. I think I read that the director or the writer originally wanted them to have like a gay relationship. Well, Ryan was originally gay and right. it was just like Disney. There's a, there's a few moments that are like coded kind of homophobia, I feel, in that movie. Like because uh, <laughs> Ryan's dad is like this very he's like golf dad he's like the rich dude rich douchebag uh, sweater vest kind of guy and ryan's like wearing his hat to the side and the dad's like straighten that hat (laughs) it's like oh yeah hey it's like hey dad like let me let me view myself let me let me express that was (laughs) that was disney's way of saying we don't like gay people (laughs) it was a (laughs) metaphor it was a metaphor (laughs) (laughs) that was their their way to say where they could get straighten that hat and stop 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 having sex with men (laughs) stop sticking your penis in butt (laughs) Uh, i don't like that part (laughs) quit it also have you seen the ryan and sharpay like 10 years later singing um what was it bop to the top it was like a rearrangement yeah i think i did see that video i forget what song it was 
was though. Yeah, it's uh what I've been looking for. Okay. Man, so many bangers. So many so bangers. So good. Dude, when that when that movie came out, I was well, actually before I knew bet on it because yeah. my sister my sister downloaded an illegal version of it from LimeWire like three months before. It leaked so early. And I yeah. I was on fucking Pirate Bay downloading that shit. <laughs> so she had that version. She had the Mandarin version of the song that we were oh, listening man. to. Wait, what? <laughs> I know. She like memorized all the lyrics to the Mandarin version of Bed on It. That's actually the sickest shit in the world. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah. I mean, it's good for job interviews. Yeah, I, I, I can speak Mandarin. Only uh... I can only do an inspirational song about <laughs> <laughs> my change of character. Yeah, I know a lot of words in a very specific context. <laughs> in a very specific order. But yeah, the, when I saw that movie, I was out, I was like on vacation with my friend in like this kind of like trailer park complex that was like kind of similar to the uh, country club ah. so like it kind of felt like i was i was there experiencing the movie myself it was just a, a magical time it was a great Whoa, time it's like vr yeah the <laughs> original vr i <laughs> going outside to a place the, the reason the reason that i did learn all these high school musical dances was because i had like me and some friends in high school were gonna like record them at like as a group and so i learned all these dances to teach them to people and we had we met and we had practices wow it was like filming logistics that's the reason that we never got it done <laughs> and then everybody just kind of forgot about it but it was just a cast and crew problem you know yeah they didn't have any shirts, didn't have any like shirts. yeah that was the problem frankly. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually just the boom operator that was in trouble <laughs> <laughs> we called him but he was frozen to death up in the, uh, in northern yeah, Ontario, he the phone like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how the timeline exactly works out because Camp Rock hadn't come out yet at this point. He was frozen. It checks out. We're shooting for a very long time. There's <laughs> a long shoot. Our shivering sound guy is the worst too. He's <laughs> <It's> just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's> true. <laughs> like the world is pretty dark right now, and so I needed to check out. And the the way that I checked out was <laughs> I I watched uh, 1999 Disney. Channel original movie Smart House, wow. which, which is an a, an absolute way classic. ahead of its time. Oh, oh my yeah. god, there's a lot in. I I literally currently have a five thousand word script that I need to cut down <laughs> on this movie. There is so <laughs> much to say. I genuinely, I have seen three DComs in my entire life. the The other two are Xenon and Under Wraps, the very first one. I got to tell you, would struggle to name a single event from both of those two because Smart House has eaten up most of the real estate in my long-term memory. <laughs> I don't remember math. I don't remember the faces of my family. But Smart House <laughs> stays with me Smart in the dark House. times. Can I give you a few fun <laughs> facts about Smart House? Please. Yeah. One fun fact is that it was- It was supposed to be in, in, in Super Smash Bros. <laughs> yeah, so that's that, crazy. the house <laughs> that had a giant dick. Giant dick. <laughs> Too hard to render. Giant uh, they could render dick. an entire house for the game. <laughs> <laughs> So it was directed by LeVar Burton. Really? No way. Yeah. And so I found a tweet recently of, or it's like a year ago, but still, but it's the 20th anniversary roughly of Smart House. And there's a few songs that only exist in the Smart House universe and they're absolute bangers. I know that wow. they only exist in the Smart House universe because they're like one minute long when you like go find the song. One of them is uh, jump, jump, the house is jumping. Like that's that's all the song is. And LeVar Burton, somebody nice. was like 20th anniversary of Smart House. And then LeVar Burton's tweeting like, jump, jump, the house is jumping. And there's wow. choreography. There's a British boy band named Five, uh, five spelled the number five, I-V-E. Oh, yeah. That is a real band five I five. learned. There's Oh, my God. There's just so many great things in that movie. I mean, wow. I didn't know Katie Seagal like from anything other than being the voice <laughs> of Leela in Futurama. So Leela from Futurama is the Smart House. Uh, she's mm. also in like... Married with children and Sons, Sons of, of Anarchy. Anarchy and stuff, but I know her right. as Leela from Futurama. She's Leela. Yeah. yeah. She's known as that by her husband and close family. And <laughs> it also stars that guy, uh, Ryan Merriman, who was uh, in The Luck of the Irish, another Disney Channel original classic. May he rest in peace. Wow. Oh, wow. Brie Larson auditioned for the role of Angie and just had to take the L. Is that true? Yeah, sorry, Brie. Damn. Only six pieces of trivia on the Smart House IMDb. That seems... Whack. I uh, should be a lot more. You should contribute. I, I now have oh, a lot sure. of. I got I, some ideas. Well, what I realized <laughs> is that like I have so many comments. I don't know what the format is because I can't make a 50 minute video yeah. about Smart House. But yeah, I've got to find like, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll make an extended version on like a second channel or something. Dude, when I script videos for especially for movies, when I make videos about movies, I have to essentially like 
cut it in half. Yeah. I have to cut out so much stuff. Because yeah. if I left the whole thing, it, the video would be longer than the movie because yeah. there's so many things you want to say. Yeah. And then you get like comments being like people who like my most recent one I put out, it was like people who watch my video, then they go watch the movie. Yeah. And then they come back to the video. They're like, why did you not talk about this one part? It's like, I... Yeah, I had to. I, I, I know. I'm sorry. I couldn't. I am but one boy. I have even. I know. The worst is like that experience, but you actually in the like edit cut out a joke or a reference. And it's mm-hmm. like, I had actually recorded this joke. It's in there. Right. Like, and then I was just like, it doesn't, it doesn't serve. Fit. Like, it doesn't serve yeah. whatever I'm trying to do. So I'm, I got to leave it on the cutting room floor. You got to put it on the OnlyFans, brother. All right. Well, yeah. that's what I'm going to do. I do want to also want to throw out, I was like, well, I'm sure there's more interesting facts about smart house. I'm, the <clears> SEO <throat> is a bit limited because it keeps showing me smart houses. <laughs> but the <laughs> breakdown on, I was like, trivia tropes. Yeah, people are always filling up trivia tropes. There are two available facts. One of them is just uh, about the fact that they watch a cartoon that was real. And yeah. the other one was the fact that one of them owns an iMac. <laughs> yeah, there's an iMac in the movie. There's also war propaganda in the movie. It like, huh. smart house turns into an episode of Black Mirror in the third act, and we don't talk oh, enough yeah. about this. It like turns into a straight up <laughs> horror film where like it wants to kill them. That yeah. is the end. <laughs> the yeah. smart house. The smart house plans a party for the kids. The big bully that's been bullying Ben through the whole movie comes over, and uh, the smart house ridicules him and then strikes him with lightning. <laughs> like it's like they just straight up like, or maybe wow. he dodges it, but it's like a whole thing. The movie's terrible. That's crazy. A lot of people. When I posted about it on my story, DMing me that like this movie scarred me before I rewatched it. And I was like, why? And then I was like, what? oh, the moment where like she bolts the fucking house closed and like becomes an <laughs> airbender and like causes like a fucking hurricane inside of the house. <laughs> yeah, no, that's going to scar some people. And then at the end of the movie, spoiler alert, they keep her around. She's still like making food and it, everything's mm. chill. I was like, what about when you she tried to out. kill us? Like, what was that yeah. about? Yeah. Move. No, she changed. Move, move from the smart house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Move away or t- turn it off, yeah. right? What if? Because <laughs> there was just a, like a big button. What if the show uh, Smart Guy was the same thing? Like he just tried to kill everybody at the end. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, he's a Every smart episode. guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When you mentioned the, uh, the lightning hitting someone, I always found it fascinating in like kids movies, like family movies. Like, for example, someone would get like in an explosion. And as long as mm. they're like fine and walk away from it, they just have like their hair is up. Yeah. They got like powder. As, they're in that's black fine. face. Yeah, yeah, they're in black face. And they're <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like, it's so weird because they, they can show that. Like the the act of it is yeah. totally fine to kids. It's just like as long as you don't see the the, right. re, the actual results of yeah. it. Home, Home Alone, the first one has a lot of like, oh man, that would kill you if you're in real life. Like he throws rocks at the heads and etc. Which is kind of yeah. irresponsible when you think about it because that's a thing that a kid can do. <laughs> yeah, right. like a kid has rocks, right? Whereas yeah, Home like, Alone the second too? movie goes pretty buck wild with like the physicality of that universe at one point marv gets like shocked and you yeah. see his actual skeleton he turns, which is actually probably one <laughs> the funniest scene in any movie of all time. Oh, it's but, great. oh and there's yeah. also is it the first one or the second one where does he take like a, a nailed board to the crotch or something <laughs> oh no a nail gun shoots him in the crotch oh oh yeah i think that's the second one hilarious yeah those are easy things to do you could put toy cars at the bottom of the stairs you could yeah. put broken glass by the front door it's all relatively easy <laughs> it would be thing. pretty great if the next home alone movie is just rock focused <laughs> I <laughs> he's just throwing rocks, beating them. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, I was gonna say we've talked about this before, mostly in reference to like the kissing booth or something. But yeah, the it's so weird to me that we have weird rules about what we'll subject kids to. But like violence is generally like pretty okay, and it's like yeah, it just like the, or but har- all these harmful ideas like depictions of very like fucked up violence or even very bad relationships that you shouldn't be teaching kids like about are like right. totally fine. Johnny Bravo. Johnny, <laughs> Johnny Bravo is great. Well, Johnny Bravo is okay because it's a story about acting obnoxiously will get you nowhere in life. I guess so, yeah. For the most part. <laughs> and get jacked because it's cool. Yeah. I just realized that on the back, there's a synopsis of the movie. <laughs> it's high tech hilarity the whole family will love when high school science whiz Ben Cooper goes online to win a computerized smart house specifically designed to make life easier. Oh, what a convenience. Like, I thought it was going to make life harder. Nothing else happens of consequence. (laughs) Don't worry about it. But instead, his family's existence becomes more troublesome than ever. (laughs) 
<laughs> existence. When Ben tries to Jesus. even lives. When Ben tries to put a glitch <laughs> existence, yeah. When Ben tries to put a glitch in his widowed father's love life, the smart house takes on a virtual motherly identity, who not only becomes overly possessive of the Coopers, but replicates herself into a pat personal applied technology an out of control mother like no other <laughs> smothering stubborn and dangerously undeletable <laughs> oh no oh it's up to ben to match wits with pat's central intelligence and outsmart it's a pun because of the name the smart house once and for all i think most moms are undeletable well, <laughs> yeah. if they are then that's, yeah, for the most part it's just yeah. murder I mean, right yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> well yeah, so that when smart house is like a lady when she's just in the kitchen can you shoot her with a gun no yeah, can you like, shoot because one there's, of the options? there's a moment where like she passes through them and it's like he's like you can't give us hugs uh, and then and then she's like oh no i no, can't give like you a, hugs no but i mean like a, a really hologram. like a yeah. really good gun oh, okay well then no yeah you could totally shoot her with a oh, really, great. Okay. really good gun anyway that's it for D- decom cast <laughs> the, the boys. Decom back boys. to slippy uh back to slippy <laughs> i do want to get to two things and i as soon as i said that i cannot remember what they were so what do you got jordan <laughs> curtis what were they yeah you wanted to talk about that one time when you were a kid and you um True. you you peed on that anthill and it was really fucked up because it was just a like a pretty sense it was just a, a senseless act of just hate i filled out that immigration form i was like have you <laughs> have you genocided anyone and i was like mm, this is i guess so, i yeah. might have actually yeah, all, those is... a- all those aunts <laughs> oh, and, all those un- and all those uncles <laughs> oh yikes i have some uh twitter questions that we got through oh nice yeah yeah let's do that Ooh, what do you want your next t- next tattoo to be oh sh- Cute. I don't know. Any ideas I, floating around your brain? I have a few. I want to get my first car tattooed on me. Oh, oh nice. It was a uh, it was a 2003 Oldsmobile Alero. Uh, it was my my grandfather's, and it was just a fucking cool car. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's not. But when I was 17, and it was a right. car that I had, I was like, this is the fucking coolest car I could yeah, ever yeah. have. That'll probably be my next one. I don't know where I'll put it, but. Do you have Maybe any I'm ideas like my... for tattoos Jordan and I should get? Because neither of us are tattooed up and uh, we're looking and I at genuinely, I know this is like such a weird idea when I don't have any tattoos, but my entire life I've wanted to be tatted the fuck up. And like really? by the end of 2021, that was my goal. Wow. Now they won't let me in. I keep, keep knocking on the door. A lot of them just won't let me inside. <laughs> Cowards. I show up, butt ass naked, ready to get tattooed. <laughs> ready to go. What and is they won't let me in. <laughs> and my therapist comes out and she's like you have to leave <laughs> wake up. people always ask me like what should my first tattoo be oh, or what okay, should yeah. and it's like i don't i never know because it's my first one was this uh orca whale on my oh own. nice so it's pretty not ballsy to get for a first tattoo because it was pretty big and like and like a pretty open spot but right i wish i probably got it somewhere else but i mean can't really change it now but um wait what uh <laughs> you can't you can't <laughs> oh fuck. no you they're there Oh, well, okay. Wait a minute. I'm out. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't dive into this head first. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking of henna. <laughs> Where people go wrong is they try to put too much meaning into one tattoo. Mm-hmm. It's like this chair it represents this my the four brothers and sisters I have, and then the <laughs> the the daisy that's on top of it represents the other four brothers and sisters I have. Oh, I was <laughs> thinking of getting like <laughs> four, like. Four brothers and sisters, like across my chest, for the four brothers and no. sisters that I have. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> for, the, for the brothers and sisters, I'm thinking about having. <laughs> I do very sincerely plan on getting a Jar Jar Binks tattoo, and there's no reason to continue talking about it. Uh, all right. Do it. You have to. Oh, sh- I have to. Oh, fuck. Really? Do I? I was called Jar Jar Binks a lot in elementary school. Oh, that's cute. Jar Jar Inks. A. Write that down. That's uh, <laughs> that's the tattoo parlor you go into, and it's like Misa. Yeah. Tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> they immediately turn around. Um, <laughs> How the hell oh, have you Jesus. guys stayed in business? Holy shit. Oh, God. Wow. This is horrible. <laughs> oh, Curtis, I have a question for you. you okay. You're a podcaster in your own right. Yeah. How... <laughs> How the hell do you do a podcast by yourself? I, Drew and I were talking about this. It is the most impressive thing I've ever uh, witnessed. <laughs> <laughs> like those are my favorite type of podcasts or just yeah, the yeah. solo ones. Um, I mean mm. like solo, everything that happened. Uh, I used to listen to a lot of uh, Chris D'Elia's podcasts. Okay. Um, yeah. Before I knew he was, uh, you know. Must, you must still be listening, right? Again, I am coming out of a three-year coma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's... Man, he's on top of the world right now, man. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, 
I've got a live show tickets coming up. There is house. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was listening to a lot of his podcast, and that's kind of what inspired me to start mm. my own one. And it's like, it is really hard to do it every week. Even like recently I started, I have like a producer now who like, sometimes comes on for like a little segment which is nice to have like a little yeah, break yeah. for me to like bounce ideas off of and stuff and right. like talk and like do bits with instead of just me being like so this is an idea for a bit i have and i don't know hopefully that's fine okay let's <laughs> talk about to the next thing <laughs> um but i think it's all i've always viewed it as like a challenge i guess yeah. to be entertaining for an extended period of time because i think that was the whole thing with vine it was like i was so fixated on like setup punchline and then that's it. That's the end. So I was like, once I start, once Vine ended, I started doing like long form stuff. I yeah. like it even translated to my stand up too. I wanted to do like more like fleshed out stuff. And I think the podcast helps out as well. So it's yeah. just like, I don't know. I, it definitely, it's definitely gotten easier. No, it's a co- cool skill set to develop too. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I think it's, it, it helps everything. Cause like I, I script like 90% of my videos, but the other 10% I can leave for like, if I think of something and I can see right. where that goes for sure. And then same as stand up. If someone yells something or just like heckles or some shit, or if I think of another punchline when I'm talking, I can yeah. just kind of go out and explore that and then get back to it. But yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun though. It's yeah. like recording the podcast is like the highlight of my week. It's, it's so a good rad. time. No, that's so rad, dude. How many episodes are you up to? I just put out 111. That's so, <gasps> that's so awesome. Congrats. You all done? Yeah, that, dude. Thanks. It's uh, a long, a long time. Is that the official season finale? 111. Nice and symmetrical. Yeah, that's first season's done now. <laughs> P.O. Uh, <laughs> now we go to season, 222. Yeah. Yeah. Every season is 111 episodes with a full arc with different characters. And <laughs> they're all you, <laughs> but they are different. No. Do they actually represent my four brothers and sisters. My evil half brothers and sisters. It's, uh, it's like in Mandarin where there's different tones and pitches for like for yeah, different words. You, you have different characters that are just like slightly pitched up and toned differently. Right. And that's he, why I knew the Mandarin version of that on it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, there was a question. I have to point this out. There was just oh, a question please. of somebody. I'm so sorry I lost you because you deserve the credit. But somebody said, do you have an evil twin called Kurt isn't? Wow. They asked if They're I have an top. evil twin. Named Kurt yeah. isn't. Kurt isn't. Uh, do, you, do you get it, dude? He, who, are you, who are you looking at? Is he still over there? He's sort of. He's kind of going like that. Oh, oh, right. That's like an international sign he's of like, friendship, I think. Yeah, yeah, he's rubbing his finger along his neck. I think it I means like him. Yeah, I think he's gonna like give me a an Adam's apple massage because yeah. he usually oh, does, yeah, does yeah. it anyway. That sounds incredibly so, unpleasant. Yeah, an Adam's apple massage. It yeah. is, but for him, it's great. <laughs> oh, he loves of course, it. right again. Hands, right, yeah. like it's yeah. Um, it's I against your will, but twin. not his his <laughs> will. Yeah. An evil twin is just Why? the reverse of you. Why not? <laughs> yes, he is an evil twin. He said that. He and said that's it. What, that's, that's how it well. goes. <laughs> Which means he isn't, I guess. He's saying, yes, I am an evil twin. Oh, I don't know what to believe anymore. <laughs> Unreliable narrator. Narrator, I hardly know her. Hey. <laughs> so, um, expand on that. <laughs> No, please, huh? please, no, please say more. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, There's latency. I, think, I didn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I said an awesome joke and we all laughed and then we kind of moved on. Oh, <laughs> sounds like a narration to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wait, somebody looks like Curtis just walked in. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> How did he get there so fast? I have several. <laughs> I have thousands across the planet. <laughs> across the planet. <laughs> across the <laughs> universe. <laughs> Uh, evil somebody, brothers. somebody asked like a, a question that I'm actually I'm not even gonna like over contextualize because I, I I'm not sure I fully understand what direction they're going with it, but I kind of want to get all of your reads on it. Has, Love it. Has anybody ever taken you and your career for granted? Akabi uh, wrote that. Thanks, Akabi. Has anyone ever taken me and my career for granted? Yeah. No. Next question. Yeah, I'm like <laughs> I don't know I what that means. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm that. not sure. Now I'm gonna lose sleep <laughs> thinking that there is someone. I can think of a few half brothers who might have something to say. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a few, actually. <laughs> They'd be singing a different tune if they're on the mic right now. Specifically, a different pitch. Yeah. I, yeah actually, I want to point out. I feel like since there's thousands and thousands <laughs> of them, I can't help but feel like you're the deviation. <laughs> And also, they're older than you. I think it's weird that you get to be the main one. No, I never said that. Did I? You sort of implied it. Like, that he's <laughs> your evil twin. It sounds like you are just a brothers with a lot of people. I have... I'm one man. Yes. I'm, like, mm. sort of... <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm sort Curtis of like, tries to convince us he's one man. I don't know so much about that. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sort of the... Uh, the the trunk of the tree, okay? And then all my evil half-brothers and sisters, they're... Uh, 
they're like the branches and the twigs and the leaves mm. and the caterpillars and the squirrels. So yeah, I'm sort of like the hub for all of them. They all report Weird. to me. I, we all have a we all have a Slack. There's a Slack yeah, a for my slack. brothers. Yeah, for sure. Not a Discord, but a Slack. More professional. <laughs> it's a very professional relationship. No, it makes sense. Mm. Makes sense. Yeah, uh, you guys all share an email domain. Like you've got a whole Google organization. Yeah. And I gotta say, even across time zones, you're very, very respectful about your work life balance. Yeah, well, we're all in Eastern time, but oh. <laughs> but let me. There are people who are who live on like Pacific. Right. The one in my house, for example. Yeah. 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 He. You ask what time that person is going to bed. It's going to be like. 11 p.m. Eastern time on the mm. dot. That's right. really weird. And Every you- <laughs> day, 11 p.m., we lie down, we close our eyes, and we're asleep. It takes mm. no less than a second <laughs> no for all of us to, asleep, no. to fall that is asleep. Incredible. Do you have like That's a. Remarkable. Do you have some sort of like shared consciousness like inside of your mind? <laughs> like, are you guys hanging out in like an internet chat room in your collective brains? Surprisingly enough, no. It's oh, okay. all. We all have our own free will. Fathers, you're, oh, because you're, you're half oh, brothers. Right. You all cool. have your own like. Different... We all have different fathers. Oh, you're right, same right, mother, right. and she gets around. <laughs> yeah, I um, mean, clearly. <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> but yeah, but it's just like we all have the same, you know, like goals and viewpoints and opinions. Mm. But we all have our own, like we all think and like do the exact same things. But we all have our own like uh, free will, so it's all good. And but and they're evil twins that agree with all the things you do and act the same way. Yeah, so they like they're not they don't really see themselves as related to each other. They're all just related to me. Okay, right. I sense. see. Because it's sounding yeah. increasingly like you're all the same and you were just poorly raised. <laughs> you're like, I you're also just not good people. I also did. Take, no, I see why you can make that argument. Yeah, I did take note of uh, of when you said that they all have free will. You kind of broke eye contact and looked away mm. as if. Uh, you know, to be committing a lie or a fib. Yeah, right? Just because they look no, down. No, you know, like b- body language, you know, like there's certain tells for, I just like. You think they don't have free will because I look down at my little brother who's on his knees begging for free will? <laughs> that's, <Okay. laughs> that's what I'm saying. I, call me crazy. Okay. Call me a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> <laughs> but you think that they don't, have, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, everyone, can we get a, hey, what the heck? <laughs> can we get a, <laughs> all together heck? uniformly <laughs> for hey, me, for okay. Papa? <laughs> Hey, yeah, Twitch chat, my, can we all lie down? <laughs> can we all can we close all our eyes at the same shut time? Shut our eyes together? All of my evil brothers and sisters are watching. That's it. <laughs> oh, wow, that's the whole... Wow. Okay, before we wrap up, I do want to talk about... <laughs> Sorry. I just God damn it, Jordan. Somebody said, <laughs> okay. Sorry, somebody said, where do you get your shirts? And I think we established it was from the set of Get Rock. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we answered everyone's questions without even having the questions. You know how they say that, <laughs> that some some clothing has memory? Like, like you know, this is an ancient, you know, passed down whatever whatever uh i don't know if what i'm saying makes sense but what i like to imagine <laughs> is that <laughs> look just go with me here uh, I was, well what i was just imagining is the camp rock guy like curtis do you ever wake up like with your arms like holding a boom pole yeah. that isn't there yeah and i'm getting yelled at by christian bale yeah <laughs> oh my god just move out of the way this boom operator is prolific <laughs> he's worked on a lot of <laughs> stuff has- no, well, that Christian Bale well, breakout happened on the set of Camp Rock. Yeah, no, Christian oh, Bale no. famously <laughs> just, he, he had nothing to do with the film, but he does like the he was a camp. boom yeah. operator. <laughs> Christian, Bale, Christian Bale camping. He just hates boom operators. He travels <laughs> set to set yeah. to terrorize boom operators. He's got, a six, he's got a sixth sense for him. He can sniff him out. Boom operator killed my mother. Damn. <laughs> it's, it's, took a t-shirt. Them. It's like it's like it's like taken, but for boom operators. It's like I. <laughs> they do have a very specific set of skills. He collects the infinity shirts. He is the fan of. It's too many shirts. Man, I, there's <laughs> the, there's an infinity of them. It seems so. That's uh, too many. Okay, real quick, not real quick, actually. Before we before we wrap up the show, I do want to talk about some more feeling stuff. Specifically, like there was a, a tweet that you posted, Curtis. That I mean, I related to, but. Yeah, m- mentioning that you were like feeling a little bit unmotivated in that moment, and I thought we could talk a little bit about motivation and specifically if you wanted to speak on how you were feeling in that moment or and how you're feeling now or or anything like yeah. that. Yeah, but we could all talk about our experiences too for sure. So yeah, when I I tweeted that I was fucking that was like down on the dumps. I was like the worst I felt in a while. I was working on one video for just so long like longer than usual yeah where i got to the point where i was like i don't even this isn't easy, this isn't even fucking f- like remotely yeah. funny anymore yeah. it's just like hours and hours of working on it and then haven't uploaded in a long time and then there's some other shit that was yeah, going yeah. on that was just like it wasn't like things that would normally piss me off right. but it was like oh, things man. that were like 
it just adds up. Yeah, yeah. So I was just like, fuck, this is it. I'm done. No, I think I'm, I'm not funny anymore and this is it. I'm going to fuck. This is this. I'm done. Yeah. My, my life is over and that's it. But then I finished, like the next day I felt a lot better because then yeah. I was like, I woke up early. I was, I got a lot of work done. I finished the video and I was like, okay, I'm feeling a little better. I got stuff done. But it was just like, dude, yeah. The, the highs are great, but the lows are just so insanely low that like, like I never felt this shitty when I wasn't doing YouTube full time. Right. No, I, yeah. I don't mean to be like, this is the worst job ever. And like, no. not at all. This is like literally like a dream come true, but For I'm sure. just saying it's like. You're, the palette is like, emotional palette extends both ways. You you cannot yeah. just ask for, you know, like the moment you start doing heroin, you, the crashes are harder, right? You just can only right. feel a certain <laughs> yeah. degree of joy with context for what the, the uh, negative is. And that's why some true. people get scared away from we it. All, we it all know be, what heroin is like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, scared, some people yeah. get scared away from heroin. <laughs> yeah. And nah, I don't fuck with those people. Pussies. <laughs> <laughs> a collective tear fell from 5,000 uh, 5, <laughs> other evil curses. I relate to that. I also think that, I don't know what it is, but there's something about the job that it feels hard to rein in. Like Typically in, the, in life, you want to be like, have a little bit of external validation. That always feels good. Have people outside of your sphere who don't know you say you did a nice thing. But hopefully right. you've got like an internal validation that's like, I, I know who I am. I know what I'm contributing to the world. I have a strong community vibe. And I don't know if it's yeah. the like solitary nature of YouTube sometimes or the fact that there's a lot of external validation at play. But there are like very weird – like I know the feeling of like putting out a video that does well is like the highest of highs. Mm-hmm. But then yeah. you put out a video that's like 10 out of 10 in your fucking studio and you're like – is this yeah. is this the end? Or I haven't had a win right. in a long time. Maybe this is which, a sign that it's all going downhill. Yeah, which by the way is the most fucked up feature they could have added to YouTube Studio. Yeah, I don't know why they crazy. did that. Yeah, it's just so soul crushing. Every time you open the app, it's like, hey, you're not doing so good. <laughs> you could be Curtis. doing a lot better. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed yeah. it's actually not even relative to the channel. It almost always says Curtis, which seems weird. Yeah, it's. I don't know why they put that on everyone's. It's like, hey, Curtis. Yeah, my yeah, my job. analytics are completely useless because they just say, hey, Curtis, you're not doing so good. <laughs> No numbers. <laughs> yeah, I think YouTube's just super mean to me for some reason, I guess. Well, yeah, I can't believe YouTube did something unkind. Yeah. <laughs> I would consider it. It's really out of character for it them. Changed. I'm trying to think of like how I would frame this, but I know for myself, when I take creative risks and they don't pan out, it's very it's a very vulnerable feeling. Like I don't feel like I'm too big to fail. I feel like at any moment the algorithm could like not pick up the video and it's like game over. Like nice nice Thanks for playing. And that's, you know, when I'm not in my best of spirits. But do you relate it all to that feeling? I feel that way all the time because I kind of put a lot of my eggs in the vine basket and that went away like overnight, basically. Yeah. Um, what happened? So I feel like that's kind of like ruined how I think about mm. my success right mm. now. I just think it's all going to go away at any time. Yeah. Mm. Obviously, it's different. Because yeah. Fine was, it wasn't making anybody any money. Uh, right. And it was just, you know, it was just bound to fail. But did the transition feel obvious to you? Like, oh, well, this boat's gone down, so I'll hop on the life raft. Kind of, I don't even want to call it a life raft, but like, here's the obvious next thing to do. Right. Uh, it didn't really. It took me like a long time to figure out what I even wanted to do on YouTube because it was so, so different. I, really only like found any sort of success when I started like <laughs> copying like Danny and Drew and Cody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, We've all been there. <laughs> mm, there's yeah. Idea. It was, it took a while. Like I didn't know if I wanted to like just keep making short videos on like Twitter or like keep making the same type of content on another platform. But I kind of only like went to YouTube because I was like, I still wanted to make videos and that's just like, right. that's what everybody else was doing. And it seemed to make the most sense. So I was like, might as well give it a shot, I guess. Yeah. It was weird. I was working like a full-time like office job at the time too. Mm-hmm. So it was like, it was weird to do both. Yeah. I don't know. It was a very weird time. What did you go to school for? Well, I went to a two-year program um, at Humber College. It was uh, for comedy writing and performance. Oh, right. So it was pretty cool. It was like, there's only like two schools in North America that like have that sort of program. Yeah. I don't know how much I really learned. Right. Because... <laughs> It was basically like a two year long like drama class, but <laughs> it was great. I made some lo- really good friends. And I mean, it, if anything, it like kind of forced me into like the stand up scene, I guess. Right. Like it kind of just like 
they really encourage you to get out and do shows and stuff. Yeah. And they like taught me how to like structure like a script and stuff, which right. was obviously like valuable, but I'm not sure if I, I it is what I'm doing now. I don't yeah, know how much yeah. I would credit it to that, but right, right. because there was nothing in the curriculum about like online video production for or anything sure, like that. Sure. The teachers were people who were very successful in comedy and like the eighties, like the seventies and eighties who yeah. were like, well, now this is a steady job in what I know how to do, I guess. So yeah, yeah. Especially my stand, my stand up teacher was something else, man. <laughs> <laughs> he was really something else. He was, he was like a, a frog, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and he had a huge dick on him. It was crazy. <laughs> Why do you know that? Huh? <laughs> Why do you know about the dick? my man? <laughs> that was a curriculum. It was like, was, yeah. Wow. <laughs> it was like, you, so had you, to, you did learn something. I learned that frogs have huge. Dicks. <laughs> That's the main thing I did learn. Uh, but yeah, it was just like, there was a person in my class who was like, he's, he was, he's a native, but he did his like set and our teacher was like, you should do like, you should really do some, uh, some Indian jokes, like really like, uh, <laughs> like just like super, super offensive stuff. And then he was like, no, I'm, I'm not going to do that. That's literally what I hate the most. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> There's yeah. a lot of that being like people being like, let's not, let's not say uh, offensive slurs. And then. Maybe not. And be like, yeah. well, it's still the 80s, so I think we're fine. <laughs> I, think, I think I've gotten away with it so far. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget, it's the past. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <man. laughs> all in all, it was good. I made some good connections and stuff. One thing that I was going to sort of circle back to on the point of um, can it all go away and like having the experience with Vine, I would say mm -hmm. another way to think about it, though, is that it's proof that you can do it again. Like, even if YouTube were to go away tomorrow, like you've already right. kind of done it once and done it again, you know? Um, oh man, do I really not want that to happen again? I know, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I know, yeah, that is the positive way of thinking of it. That I, like I've, I've hey man, done it always before. I, guess. I think, yeah. <laughs> I think for me, I think for me, I'm always like reminding myself that I have skills and like getting to the point that yeah. I'm at is not a function entirely of luck. Like obviously, you could be lucky in a in a number of ways, and I have been. But if mm -hmm. I had zero and I was starting from zero, I can sort of start to pull myself back up by my own bootstraps, right. I suppose. It's the uh, imposter syndrome, right? Is what oh, they yeah. call it. Yeah, that yeah. thing where you don't think this is where... Yeah, I feel like I have that all the time. It's like, it was a fluke that I'm somehow... People are subscribed to. For sure, but, for sure. I mean, sure, I guess... Yeah. And that's another thing I've been trying to like remind myself is that like, I'm pretty good at stuff, I think. Yeah. I'm okay at things. I know how to write a joke. I know how to edit a video. And I know how to post a video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, <laughs> posting is the hardest part, part. You crush yeah. that. <laughs> I know. It's mostly... It took me years to figure that out. <laughs> Almost yeah. all of your videos have been uploaded. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> We're proud of you. You know, take take or leave the writing and video production, but... Mm, yeah. Those... I watch your videos and I'm like, posting? these are fucking uploaded, dog. Damn, these are Dude, posted. Yeah. <laughs> these are I'm, posted I like, honestly, bro. man, I'm I'm like so close to watching one of them. I seriously, that I can tell. That yeah, that there's probably content in there. I see that oh. you know, I see the number, the how long they are, and I got like two minutes or so. I don't, I don't get into this. Okay, kind of stuff. but um, that's my fine. little nephew. As he's crazy about computers. He's always watching that stuff, <laughs> 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 playing the Fortnites. He's always watching these four nights. It's crazy, yeah. Man. I'm just kidding, man. Your videos are seriously starting to get really good. Damn. <laughs> Thank you. Damn. Almost, almost. <laughs> I'm there. finally. But could I'm you finally add, getting there? Could you add a little bit more offensive humor? Maybe some slurs. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. YouTube loves Please that don't get shit. Political. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay. I'll drop. I'll say the n word. <laughs> oh, yeah. a nice video. Is that it's cool? funny? <laughs> my, my man, it's so funny. <laughs> it it is just hilarious. It's crazy that not more people are doing this Yo. hilarious thing, objectively hilarious. <laughs> yeah, you remember when Louis C.K. would say that stuff? Oh, oh so. man, Dude, what a guy. And he How great would it have been? Remember when uh, Shane came out and he was like, the whole blackface thing, I didn't know there was a history to it. How great if he said that about the N-word? <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, that, that's what... I didn't what, know there what, was a whole thing around it. That's what Tana Mojo said about saying the N-word. Wow. She was oh, like, it's really I just... Um, yeah. Who the yeah. fuck was it? Uh, she like never Rico really Nasty. apologized for it. For it. Do you see yeah. that shit about Rico Nasty? No, but the name doesn't inspire confidence. She was like XXL freshman this year. And, oh, okay. uh, she's, yeah. She makes some great tracks, collaborates with Kenny Beats a lot, but she, on a live stream, I think, maybe in a track, used the C word for people of Chinese descent. Oh, no. 
and how do you even up find that's understand. in like the bargain bin at like racism it's, depot yeah, <laughs> like, like, if, i'm sure if i heard it i'd have to check but i'm yeah. pretty sure that's better <laughs> that's like that's, like, oh, that's no. like calling you a colored <laughs> like i'm like <laughs> it's like how did you even get here <laughs> like what you, yeah whoa this is dusty why are you this wearing is a, a top hat and a monocle yeah yeah <laughs> goddamn colors <laughs> are you no. a stand-up teacher <laughs> yeah <fuck>? damn <laughs> Some kind of stand up. <laughs> oh my teacher. god, it's a two year program, my guy. Uh, but she, yeah, she did an apology on, she had to do two apologies in her life because the first time she apologized and said the word. Oh, no. <laughs> during the apology. Oh my uh, god. It's Rico. such an easy problem to Rico, fix. Rico, nasty. Come on. You're being nasty. That Rico. would never fly on the PGA steps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. In PGA streets, never. PGA streets. <laughs> Uncle Rico, come on! Oh man, we we've had some good, <laughs> some good grand old fun here today. Yeah, this is great, and we can. This uh, flew by. So thank you so much, Curtis, for joining us. Um, we of ha- course, we had a thanks great, for having great me. Time, uh, you're welcome back. Wh- whenever you know you managed to escape the deep, but Danny and Drew are still are still down there. So, um, oh yeah, I had this thought. I had this thought earlier. Okay, really Please. quick. So, you had Danny and Drew before me, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. On the tour. I had to go 30 shows opening for them. Yeah. But now... You're the fucking closer, guys. I'm the headliner of you're this podcast because you guys aren't doing any more after this. No, we're done. It's it's the end. Yeah. This uh, is it. Jordan, we haven't talked about this, but he's right. It's the end. This is the end. I'm the headliner. Okay. I mean, I... You've had a good run. We had a good I, run. And it's time And it's I time like to doing the show. It, it is... It is I, I do need it for financial support, but no. at the same time... At the, at the same time, I do, Curtis, I do want you to feel better about the tour thing. So what's more important? You know, your livelihood or, my, or me feeling a little better? Yeah, it's you. You're right. You've reinvented yourself a few times. You were an American for a few years, and now you're back to being a Brit. I did my best, and now I'm back in a famously stable and affordable country. <laughs> With <laughs> so no please, problems. Curtis, no problem. Hold that L. <laughs> Damn son, that's that's what the Trump administration sent you is a uh, is a uh, pre- presidential letterhead. Just hold that L. L. The L. It's a blank piece of paper, and they cut it into an L. Damn. Yeah. It, and they did that like that frat like college font thing where it's got like all the little. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's I like actually, the smart uh, house font here. I got that L. And I drove to Jarvis's house and punched a hole in his wall. <laughs> Damn. And I just <laughs> right had the, next to the verse. I just have the tax rap. The tax rabbit. <laughs> That's a a new startup that I'm doing where you call someone to do your taxes. Tax <laughs> yeah, but, you take their taxes. But uh, the tax, the tax. I I give up on that bit actually. <laughs> your nose is bleeding. I called the tax man and he couldn't fix the hole in my wall because he was a rabbit. Damn, <laughs> that, that makes sense. Wait, isn't the other <laughs> the other Star Fox character is a rabbit? Yes. yes. Okay, thank you. Wow. <laughs> Could you give us some insight, maybe, on what they're packing? Heat. <laughs> it's like wow. a. It's tiny. Damn. It's a tiny, well, it's, tiny It's crazy because they have no. so much sex and so many kids and so many. <laughs> it's true. They, That's why it's, it's impressive. It's over time. All right. Well, we learned a lot today. <laughs> we started on animal dicks. We're ending on animal dicks. That's it's what beautiful. we call arc. Book ending. A circle. Yeah. Is that why we're ending the show? <laughs> because we keep doing that? <laughs> I think it's because PETA is knocking on my door and they've got something oh, to say. Oh, no. <laughs> Please stop. But yeah, thanks so much, Curtis, for joining us. Is there anything you want to plug or... Follow me if you want, but if not, I... You can follow my brothers and sisters. That's fine. Okay. Mm. I'll think and about it. You share just, an account, right? It's all my account. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. if you want to subscribe to my brothers and sisters, it's my account. You all share um, an account and a consciousness. <laughs> yeah. Well, that jur- jury's still out. Jury's still out. We don't know. But yeah, I don't know. Be nice to people. Yeah. And that's it. I like that. Yeah. Be nice Be to people. Be plugging kindness. Except my stinky little stepbrother. Nice. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> your stinky little stepbrother gets the worst treatment <laughs> of all of your brothers. And now he's rubbing a, a real neck across his... A real, a real <laughs> oh, he's rubbing a whole, whole neck. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> rubbing, <laughs> neck <around laughs> rubbing a neck across his neck. That's it's pretty wild. Hot. <laughs> a neck of the last person he killed. Apple to apple <laughs> contact. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. For having me on. Oh, saying. yes, of course. We end every episode of Sad Boys with a particular phrase. We, we love, love you. you. And we're sorry. Boom. Boom. Gucci girl, Gucci girl, how you doing? How you moving, girl? Moving, girl, how's your day looking? That future girl, future girl, yeah, we on now. Take my money, go away, how you want it? Gucci rich for me. <laughs>